Hello, I want to show you how to update Drupal from one minor version to another minor version. Um, what, what that means is we're, we're going to start off with version 7 of Drupal, version 7.3, and we're going to upgrade it to version 7.8. So both, it'll still be version 7, it's just a more modern, more secure um, distribution of Drupal. So, the reason I'm doing this is because, if you look here, I'm running Drupal 7.3 and there's the security warning. Um, you, you, I need to update to version 7.8 to make my installation more secure. It just patches it for uh, stop all the hackers and people like that getting in or any other kind of problems. So, the, the best way to do it, I'm going to go through the process and show you what I do. And then I've got some slides to show you. Uh, to explain what I've done, so we'll see how far we can get in those 15 minutes that uh, we get from YouTube. Right, so here we are. What we want to do first, we want to put the site into maintenance mode. So, configuration. See this button, this, this link here says maintenance mode, and that'll just take the site off air. So, click this put site into maintenance mode and save configuration and now if anybody comes to look at the site any visitors they'll just see a, a sign saying this site is being updated please come back uh, again soon right um, right what we want to do now is go to these, these are all the files and folders on my web server and this is my desktop so this, this is Drupal basically, all these files and folders are what make up Drupal. Now the important things we need to look at is sites. So the sites um, directory, when, it, when it's on a server they call it a directory, it's a, it's a folder but they call it a directory because it's on a server. So the sites directory has all your pictures, your the extra modules you've installed, any extra themes you've installed, they all go in the sites directory. Most of the others just make Drupal work. So all these other things just make Drupal work. The things that matter to you are the sites directory and there's a, 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 a file here called the .ht access file. Now we'll get to that later. Most of the time you don't have to worry about that. But if you've got a one-click installation, there's loads and loads of um, uh, hosting firms now that offer a, a thing called a one-click installation and they put them in a subdirectory. You put, they put Drupal in a subdirectory and so if the, if you've got a one-click installation in a subdirectory I'll, I'll tell you about HT Access later because that might be important to you. So let's get back to the, the, the story, what we're going to do. What I need to do, I need to save this on my web server but I need to delete everything else. So all I need to do is select everything then deselect sites. <laughs> By the way, before you do this, back up everything. Back up your website before you start doing this. The last video I made was about how to back your website up. And uh, if you don't back, back your website and your database up before you do this, you might well regret it. So please back your website up. Both your your sites and your all your files and folders and your um, your database before you start doing this then if anything goes wrong you can reinstall everything from your backups so what we're going to do we're going to keep this site directory we're going to delete everything else I've got sidetrack there sorry about that so delete all that it'll take longer on your um, your uh, web server right now this is my desktop and these are all the files and folders in a new version of Drupal, Drupal 7.8, uh, which I've downloaded from the internet. So this is all I've done. I've been to the Drupal website and I've downloaded the most modern version of Drupal, which are the, right now is 7.8. So I don't need this sites directory, so I'm going to delete it. Right, now I've got sites directory here. And I've got all the rest of the Drupal files and folders here, but no sites directory. And all I'm going to do is just drag these or upload these into there. Simple as that. Right. Now, what's next on my list? What, what I just I really want to impress upon you is 
don't delete this sites directory in on your web server because that's where all your all the information that you need about your site is in that one there so don't delete it don't overwrite it and don't delete it right ah, let's go back to our actual web page we'll reload this and see what happened well what we'll do we need to go to update php so difficult for you to see that, I'll just move this down if I can, oh, there we go um, so we're going to go now to update php right now type that in the, the letterbox at the top um, so it would be, that would be the name of your website this is on the local host on a, a web server inside my computer so it, it looks a bit different there but if it's, um, you, you just need to put that in there, that update PHP, that's where we're going to go. Uh, so if we just refresh. I think even if you don't type that update PHP in, it will um, automatically do it for you, I think. But it's best to type, well, if you, if you have any problems, just type it in by hand. Now, it's saying to us it will, upda it will update the, uh, the database, but it makes us to want it makes us to want to back up our database and then back up all our uh, website files and everything put your site into maintenance mode which we've already done then just click continue what this is going to do is ups, update uh, it says uh, apply updates yes um, it's going to update the database and everything to, to match the new files and folders I'll just explain if I can a bit more uh, clearly about this. What you want to do, you want to run this script, update PHP is a script and you want to run, you want Drupal to make that happen, you want it to run that script. Um, this is just where the website is, that bit there. Localhost just means that it's on a, a, a website inside my computer. In, um, well, we've got a web server inside this computer that I'm using. Uh, so you just need to put that update PHP at the end of wherever your website is, suppose it's Burt's um, Shoe Shop Online or whatever it is, dot com. You just put up update PHP at the end there. Right, so let's go to the front page of our website and see if it's worked. What we need to do is check go to this page that says reports here. Then we get a status report, this first one on the list. Right, see there Drupal 7.8, so it's changed from 7.3 to 7.8, which is good. Um, oh this you want to check for this as well, these these two at the top. There it says protected, protected. Um, and these are just a configuration file and update PHP the, um, the, you've got permissions on Drupal runs on a Unix based system on a, um, uh, the, the, the file system uses a certain type of um, uh, now like, how can I describe it it's you have permissions to do everything. Everything you want to do on the web server that Drupal runs on, you need permission to do it. And this is just telling you that the permissions are set properly, it's protected. Um, right, what's next on my list? Right, that's more or less it. Yep. So, now I don't think I had any content in this. No, I haven't made any content for it. We're just showing you how to do it. So basically that's it. That's all really you need to do to update your website. Now I've got some slides. I've got five minutes left. So I'll go through the slides and explain to you what I've done. Now, first of all, this is basically what we did. We'll just go through what we did. So I downloaded a new version of Drupal. I stored that on my desktop. Right, now, 
I removed the Sites folder from the Drupal folders that I downloaded to my desktop. I went to Drupal website, downloaded the, the most modern version of Drupal. I removed this Sites folder. There, it's gone now. There's no Sites folder in there. I deleted it. Right. After that, I deleted everything except the Sites folder from this server. So on this, the, on the web server, I kept the Sites folder and I deleted everything else. So this one we've deleted the Sites folder, this one we've saved the Sites folder and deleted everything else. Now one thing I would say, if you've added any custom files or folders in here, if you're new to Drupal you probably won't have done, rate most people that just put new things inside the Sites folder all your themes, your modules, everything like that, all your pictures, they all go inside this sites folder but it's possible to put them outside there in other places. Now you're only likely to do that if you know what you're doing. Under normal circumstances most people who are new to Drupal won't do that. So this is the only one you need to worry about. But I would also back up this HT access. You want to make sure, if you don't back up anything else, make sure you back up your sites folder and your HT access. They're both useful. Right. So, we're going to delete everything on there apart from the Sites folder. And that's it, we've got the Sites folder here, and we've got all the rest of the folders on the brand new version of Drupal there. And when we add this to this, we'll end up with a full version of Drupal. So all we do now is just uh, upload these from the desktop into the web server. Right, we'll upload all of your new Drupal files and folders to your web space. Do not overwrite or delete the site's directory on your server. Don't over overwrite or delete that. Right, your web server now has the updated version of Drupal installed. Well done, give yourself a pat on the back. Right, what does this one say? Aha, the site's directory and the HT access file are important. Make sure you have backup copies of both. So, the, the sites folder and HT access, if you don't back up anything else, make sure you back those two up because they are useful. But I would, I would highly recommend that you back up everything to start with. When you're new to Drupal, back up everything. I've done another video about how to back up your, your database and your files and folders. So, where to next? Right. If you've got a one-click installation, the rest of this video is mainly about for these people who have a thing called a one-click installation. And all, it, all I'm going to tell you about is these two little lines of code there, but the, the, it's quite important to know about them. Right, so back to our screens. I've got three minutes to tell you this. Right, if you use a one-click installation of Drupal, Drupal may be installed in a subfolder. If Drupal is installed in a subfolder, you may need to edit the HT access file after updating Drupal. Please read on. So this really is only about people who've got a uh, what's called. If you've got a one-click installation, you probably know what you, you know that you've got that. Right. Before you ups, up, before you start the upgrade process, do this. Look on your server for the HT access file. You may have two. There may be one um, in the root of your server and one in the main installation of Drupal. So, download copies of these two files from your server before you start. Copy the HT access files and look for this rewrite base. There's a line of code you can search inside it, um, usually on a text editor. If you, if you type Control F, that'll open up a search box usually and just search for rewrite base and then that forward slash. Leave a gap, rewrite base, forward gap, uh, <laughs> gap, forward slash. Right, and then after you upgrade the um, your Drupal website, have a look and make sure that the new rewrite base is the same as the old one in your HT access file. So let's go on to the next page and see if we can explain it a bit better. All we're looking for is just this line here that says rewrite base and this one that says rewrite base and they're in the, the file called .ht access. Now that dot makes it into a hidden file. So you might have to click view hidden files or something like that to see it. So Now I don't have time to read through all these. We're getting really near to the um, uh, to, to my limit of 15 minutes. But stop the video here, read through all this. It gives you a, a good idea of what to do. And um, that's more or less it. You, 
your, your Drupal installation will be updated to a new version. Well I hope you found that useful, I know we've been a bit stuck for time but it should give you a much better idea of how to update your, uh, your Drupal installation. Thanks for watching, do pop back. Bye.